Today we're learning to answer exam questions on the topic of uh, simultaneous equations and I've got two questions for you today and we won't take too long going through these but the two questions are slightly different so please take the, take the time to look at both questions as we go through it especially question number two where that one kind of is a wee bit of a problem uh, for some pupils to pick up on where the equations come from so Let's dive in and we'll see how we get on with these questions here. Right, quite worded questions uh, in the uh, simultaneous equations uh, questions for that five. So let's go ahead and do these two past papers, right? So what we've got here is we've got uh, two groups of people go to the theatre. So Bill, he buys uh, tickets, uh, he's got five adult tickets, three children tickets, and the total cost of his tickets are £158.25. Okay, first part. Write an equation to illustrate this information here. So let's go for the first thing we're going to go. So we'll say let A equal adult tickets and B, no, oh no, let's go for C. Okay, we'll go for C just to make it children, okay? Equal children tickets. Okay, you could use X and Y, that, can, that would work as well. I'm just going to use A and C maybe for, for a bit of ease here, okay? Right, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll set up this first equation. So five adults, so what we've got for this one, we've got 5A plus three children, 3C, is equal to, and we'll go for 158.25, okay? So there's the, the first thing that we've got. So that's, that's the first mark I've got there already. Let's look at the next part of the question. So we've got Ben now. Ben buys tickets for three adults and two children. Uh, the total cost that he's uh, paying is £98. So write an equation to illustrate this information. Here we go again. So this is going to be part B. So that was part A there. And we'll go for part B. Part B is three adults. So 3A. And we've got two children plus two. <laughs> 2C, dear me. Okay, there we go. 2C, and what we've got is that's £98. Okay, so there we go. There's our uh, two equations written. So now what I can do is I can solve these simultaneously to answer part C, which is calculating the cost of a ticket for an adult and the cost of a ticket for a child. So we'll work out what A and C is. Once we get the answers to that, we'll write a statement at the end, and that should uh, finish this off. Okay then, so what we've got here is we've got, uh, we've got two equations. I'm trying to get the, the numbers the same and we're trying to look at having one negative and one positive just so that we can add them together and get rid of them. Right, so I'm going to use the elimination method here, okay? So I've got this one here as my equation number one and this one here is equation number two. So I'm going to look at the three and the two here. So I'm going to multiply the top one, the top equation here, by this number that's sitting there, the two. I'm going to multiply the bottom by a 3, but I'm going to make it a negative 3 or so because I want to get a negative and a positive so I can eliminate them. Right, so here we go. I'm going to multiply that by 2 and I'm multiplying the bottom one by negative 3. So here we go then. Let's get that going. Right, so just going to write a wee instruction just at the side here. So it's equation 1 and we're multiplying it by 2. So what I've got is I've got 10a plus 6c and then if I multiply that by 2, Two, what I should get is 316.50, okay? So that's just started off with that. And I'm going to call that one there my equation number three, just because I've altered it, and for reference. So I've got equation two here that I've referred to here. So equation two, I'm multiplying that by a negative three to get a negative uh, value appearing in here. So negative three times this line here. So I've got uh, negative 9a. I've got negative 6c, and that's the reason why I was multiplying by a negative, so that I can eliminate this part here. I can get them away first of all, and then I can solve them after. I'll then multiply 98 by the negative 3, and that'll give me negative 294. And I'm going to call that one there my equation number 4. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply add them together. So it's 3 and 4 added together. So here's my instruction, 3 plus 4. When I add these together, up and down the way here, I've got 10a plus a negative 9a, or 10a, take away 9a, that'll leave me with just a. 
this is going to be eliminated, remember, because what we've done is we've uh, we've multiplied up or scaled the equations to get rid of the C values, first of all, to solve for A, first of all. So I've got 316.50. Uh, I'm going to take away from that 294, and that's going to come to 22, yeah, 22.50. Okay, so I know that an adult ticket is going to be £22.50. Okay, and I'm going to write that in at the end. Okay, right, what I'm then going to do is just normally I'm going to substitute that here into part uh, uh, equation number one, and then from there we'll solve for C. So I'll substitute A is equal to 22.50 into equation number one. So I'm going to write that down, what it is, what we're going to start with. Remember, you can substitute it into either equation, and then we can check it with the other if we want to do that. So I've got 5 times, and that's £22.50 that goes in there. I've got plus 3c is equal to, and that's 158.25. Okay. What I'll then do is I'll multiply this out together, so that'll be 100, 112.50. So 112.50, and I multiply that. Right, so what I'll do to each side, I'm going to take away, just to solve that equation, take away 11. There we go, so it's still on the screen, just no more. So I'll just move that up a wee bit. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, £112.50 and pence away from each side. And what I should end up with there would be, let's see, that one eliminates. That leaves me with 3C is equal to, and that's going to be 45 75. I'm going to do that calculation. I'm then going to divide both sides by 3 to eliminate the 3s that are there. And what I'll do is I'll find out what C is equal to. So if I divide 3 into this here, I should get 115. And that'll be 25. That's there. Okay, so there I've got uh, A and I've got C there. What I've been asked for in part C is to calculate the cost of a, a ticket for an adult and the cost of a ticket for a child. And I'll just write that down at the end as a final statement. So the cost of a, an adult ticket and here's the A up here. So remember it's pounds, so I want to write it in pounds as well. Okay, 22 pounds 50. And then we've got the cost of a child ticket. This one here, okay. So all I've done is try to keep that together just as the final answer that I've got here. Remember, I've got to answer it in context. I can't leave it just C or just A. Um, I could lose a, a mark out of that. I have mentioned what A and C are up at the top. I might get away with that, but um, I would rather make a final statement towards the end. So if we do this type of work here, what we've got is we'll be getting a mark for getting the first equation that's there. We'll get a mark for the second equation. These will be a mark each for A and B. I'd be looking for a mark for scaling the equation so that I can eliminate something. And uh, what we'll go from there is we'll get a mark for what A is, and then I would get a mark for working out what C is and making a final statement. So that looks like five marks that we'd get there for that question. So that's pretty good if we can understand simultaneous equations and gaining five marks in the uh, National 5 exam. Right, so that's one way the question comes along to you. And what you can do is you can check your uh, past papers, find questions like that, and go and answer these ones, okay? Right, so let's see the, the second type of question that we get. Okay, so this is the second type. And they look very similar, but they're different. They are a bit different. I find they are. So what we've got here is we've got... Uh, Seats on flights from London to Edinburgh are sold at two prices. So we've got £30 and £50 seats. Okay. On one flight, a total of 130 seats uh, was sold. So let X be the number of seats sold at £30 and Y be the number of seats sold at £50. Okay. Write down an equation in x and y which satisfies the the information that we've got above here this condition that's here okay so if, um, I, I 
well, this one here, this is the one that uh, I find that quite a lot of people struggle with to try to get this first equation coming out because we're looking at money, we're looking at seats, we're looking at, I can't get that to work out, but all we're looking at is this part here. 130 seats were sold. There's two different types of seats. So there's X and there's Y. So there's 30, 30 pound seats and there's 50 pound seats. So if I've got all the 30 pound seats, so that'd be all the X's, and I've got the 50 pound seats, which are all the Y's, if I add them together, they must come up to 130 seats. So this part here is the bit that we're, um, it's different from the previous question, but this is one that you need to think about to try to gather that type of information that's there. So that's a key bit of information. So I'm going to call that one there my equation number one. Okay. Right. And that was for part A. So I've got that in there. Right. So the next bit of information I've got, the sale of the seats on this flight totaled £6,000. Okay. So for part B, what I'm going to get is, I know it's going to be £6,000. And what I've bought is uh, £30 seats and £50 seats. And the number of seats is um, X. Okay, so 30X would be the first part I would write down. And remember the second one, which is uh, the Y number of seats would be at £50. So that would be 50 times Y. And we know it equals £6,000. £6,000. There we go. Okay, so that's we got the two equations, and that's A and B answered already. And that's two maps I should have kind of souped up on, on this already. Um, right, so so for, for me, I would say that this part here, getting the two equations, is key. If you don't get the equations, then unfortunately you can't gain many of the marks. Okay? What you could do is you do, could put in your best guess for equations, go through and solve it, and uh, I'm sure you would be gathering some marks up. But try to make sure that you think about that one there all the time when you're doing this type of question. Okay, so for part C, how many seats were sold at each price? So simultaneous equations question, go and solve it. And then what we'll do is we'll just write a statement at the end. Right, so first things first, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply one of these by, let's see, 50, the other one by 1, but I've got two positives, so I want to multiply one of them by a negative number. How about we just uh, multiply, let's see, the top by negative 50, okay? Okay, so my instruction, equation 1 times negative 50. So that'll give me negative 50x, and that's take away 50y. Right, so 50 times that's going to give me 6500, zero, zero, and it's going to be a negative, negative 6500. Zero, zero. So there we go, and that's my equation number three. Right then, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, I'm going to add equation two and three together. Here's my instruction. I'm going to add equation two plus three. So I'm just putting the equations in the circles, the references for each of them. So if I add these together, so 30 plus negative 50x, so that there is going to give me a negative 20x. The 50y and the negative 50y eliminate to zero. And then what I've got left here is going to be negative 500. Right, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 20. And what that leaves me with here leaves me with x is equal to... And what I can do is I can divide top and bottom by 10. That will leave me with 2 into 50. I've got two negative signs, so it's going to be positive. So 2 into 50 is going to give me 25. Okay? Right, so the number of seats sold at £30 is going to be 25 of them. Okay. Right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to substitute the x equals 25 into equation number one and equation one works well for us because that's the simplest one for us so what we've got is we've got x plus y equals 130 i'm substituting 25 in where x is i'm then going to solve for y so i'll take 25 away from both sides to sort this equation out and solve it so that eliminates there leaving with y is equal to and i've got 130 take away 25 so it'll give me 
105. So what that does is it gives me the final answer there for me. So that, that's my final answer of x and y worked out. So then I'm going to make a simple statement just over here. And what we're going to say is that the it's the number of seats that were sold, isn't it? So seats sold at each price. So we'll say that um, 25 seats were sold at £30. So solution is, so it's 25 seats sold at, and that was the £30 for X. And we've got 105, so 105 seats sold at, and that's going to be the £50. Okay, so all I'll do is just box that in. That's my final solution that's there. And that's my final answer. Okay. What I could do, remember, is we could always check. We could always check to see that we've got it right. And that's a good idea at the end of your exam because you're only going to get probably one of these questions to do. So we could do a wee check. Check in and we'll put it into equation two because we used equation one to solve that part. So equation two is starting off with um, 30x plus 50y. And when I substitute my values in there, I want it to be equal to 6,000. And then I'll know that I've got the answer right. So 30 times, and that's going to be 25, plus 50 times 105. And as I say, I want that to equal to 6,000. So if I've got 30 times 25, that will give me 750. And if I multiply 50 times 105, that will give me 5250. There we go. Okay, if I add them together, yep, that comes to 6,000. And what I wanted that to be is equal to 6,000. So I know I've got this question right before I leave the exam. And that's me got my, my marks for this one. So again, with this type of question here, what we'll get is we'll get one mark there for the first equation, pulling that out of the information. Pulling the second equation out. Uh, scaling the equation. So we're scaling it to make sure that we can eliminate it. We'll get the x value first, and then a final statement that must be in context to uh, give us our final mark there. So that's another five marks that we've got here in this simultaneous equations question. Right, so again, go and try and find questions like that in the uh, past papers. You'll find plenty of them about. And uh, just try and make sure that you can find the equations from the wording that's there. Quite wordy questions but uh, questions that you need to try to understand and interpret and pull out the equations from them. So that's us finished with this part. All that's up to you now is to really get into the past papers and make sure that you can answer as many of them as you possibly can. Remember, you can use the elimination method or you can use the substitution method to try to, to work this out and get to your solution. So wishing you all the best for the simultaneous equation work we've done so far. And um, this will probably be the last video in this sequence.